What is going on everybody and welcome to Some might say a sad video, some might say thank god video But this is going to be my last ever video on FIFA 15 It is literally like two days now till the early access of FIFA 16 is out I am on that, I'm going to be bringing you career mode, ultimate team, all that good stuff Straight from the off as quick as I physically can And um, yeah, for that reason this is going to be the last FIFA 15 video I haven't really done much FIFA 15 for the last week or two anyway because of the demo being out and just because generally it's dying but I thought this would be a good official last video and we're basically going to be looking at my best ever team on FIFA 15 which rhymes and also my favourite player in the entire game so this is the team because it's a 4-4-2 and it's one that I built quite some time ago in the game but I rebuilt it about a month and a half ago maybe two months ago but with a couple of different players and it played just as amazingly as it did the first time round the only difference was, instead of having Schweinsteiger in, I've got Arturo Vidal in, who of course transferred to Bayern Munich. But let's go through the team. You've got regular Cassia, in fact, hasn't got an informer, has he? But Cassia in gold, the Real Madrid version, of course. 29 games played, no goals, no assists, we all know about Cassia. So I don't want to go too in depth now. You've heard all this all before, I'm sure, about these particular players. But we've got Alibert left back, JB Boateng, the best regular centre back on the game, in my opinion, at centre back partnered with Ramos. And then you've got uh, Danilo, another transfer player, I believe I had. Dikmar on the right back with um, with Boateng before, and then I had Ramos on the other centre back and Marcelo at left back, I think. Uh, but we've got Daniel the transferred version at right back. Right mid we've got Gareth Bale, absolute monster on this game. But this team just does not revolve him; it revolves around Inform Robin, which we'll look at in a second. We've got Enzo Perez, one of my favourite CDMs last year on FIFA 14. Again on FIFA 15, he's been absolutely amazing. I'm hoping he's just as much of a tank in FIFA 16. We've got the transfer Vidal, like I just mentioned. Is he still extinct even though it's like a few days till? My god, how, how are these people still extinct? It's so bad, like FIFA 16's out in like a week. And you still can't even get your hands on a Vidal without having to snipe him. Absolutely mental. But we've got Marco Reyes on the left. 150 games pretty much now. 50 goals and 30 assists. We've got Inform Benzema leading along with Robin. He has played 20 games. Got 6 goals and 17 assists. And you might be thinking right now, you know. Looks like a good team on paper. Looks pretty solid. But this is where it becomes amazing. Because this card here. This Iron Robin. 95 pace. 93 shooting. 88 passing. 96 dribbling and 70 physical. Is... The best striker on B15 in my opinion. And hang on a second, before you say anything, just look at his record. And Captain, before I show you his record, for some reason in my opinion, this 93 card plays better than his team of the year card. It plays better than his team of the season card. And I think he might even have no he hasn't. This is his highest regular inform. And for some reason, in my opinion, it plays better than all the others. And just look at those freaking stats, lads. 21 games played, 62 goals scored. Only the two assists, but that's because this guy's the finisher of the team. He has literally got a goal shy of a hat-trick every game for 21 matches, which is absolutely unreal. This card is literally amazing. I've got so many goals to show you. I'm going to start them playing now. But I had to filter out so many because there's just, you know, you can't get 62 goals into like a five-minute video. But this card is incredible. The runs he makes as a striker are next level. His strength is good, despite the fact he's got two star weak foot, his right foot finishing is just as good as his left. He's not even bad in the air, lads, but the main thing you'll get from him is, is when you're running at defences, they just cannot live with it. We all know that wingers up front is something that's been incredible this year on FIFA. People like Bale up front are amazing, Rouse, Ronaldo of course, but this card, in my opinion, trumps them all. He's got amazing free kicks, he's got amazing long shots, everything he does is world class well it has to be doesn't it i mean you don't get a hat trick a game over 21 games if you're not world class and i would hide i don't know if i'd say i'd recommend going out to try them now because there's like oh i suppose you could try for, try this team for a week on fifa until fifa 16 comes out if you're not on the early access and let me know how you get on that is that is what i want to know i want to know if this card is amazing just for me up front or if other people are getting the same results as well he's only on seven chem he has of course got the loyalty bonus and the, the manager on that, that stuff you can't get his chem higher than that but, like I said, I would be amazed to know if this team plays as well for anyone else as it does for me. Because for me, this team and the team that I used before, but was pretty much identical, have been by miles the best teams that I've used this year on FIFA. They have been absolutely incredible. I mean, Robin up front, like I say, he just pulls away from defenders with these. He's finishing his second to none. His long shots are amazing. His dribbling is incredible. He's just an all-round 
God, and I cannot wait to use him on FIFA 16 and see if he's just as good. But I do think he could be in for a bit of a nerfing in the striker area when you look at the way that heading does seem to be on FIFA 16. I don't think he's going to be quite as good, but still, I'm looking forward to trying him. Like I said before, you try this team for the last week of FIFA 15. Let me know how you get on. That would be amazing. If you did enjoy the video, and... By the way, if you're looking forward to FIFA 16 as well, which is like literally two days away for me now, cannot wait, leave a thumbs up on this video, subscribe if you're new around here for all the FIFA 16 stuff that's going to be coming out over the next week, and for the final episode of our F1 2015 series, Button Banks is back, just one episode together of that as well, that's going to be awesome. I look forward to speaking to you all in the next video. This team is godly, make sure you go and use it, I'll speak to you next time, need you out. Be fine today. So everybody, you can see we're sitting on the grid and we went with uh, strategy number two this time. Now, before the lights go out, or while the lights go out, I should say, 